And the soup today is carrot and tomato, I conclude, with a perky note of ta-da flourish that orange soup doesn't justify. Is carrot and tomato soup even a thing? I had said to head chef Tony as he poked a spoon into a cauldron bubbling with ripe vegetal odours. It is now, Tinkerbell tits. I don't think Tony graduated from the Rue Academy or the Charm Academy. In truth, I put a bit of flair into the performance for my own sake, not the customer's. I'm not merely a waitress. I'm a spy from the world of words, gathering material. I watch myself from the outside. The disgruntled middle manager type man with a depressed looking wife scans the laminated options at That's Amore. The menu is decorated with clip art of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, a fork twirling earthworms, and a Pavarotti who looks like the Sasquatch having a stroke. He booked as Mr. Keith, which sounded funny to me, although there's an actress called Penelope Keith, so it shouldn't really. Carrot and tomato? Oh no, no, I don't think so. Me either. What do you recommend? I hate this question. An invitation to perjury. Tony has told me, push spaghetti vongoli on the specials, the clams aren't looking too clever. What I recommend is the Turkish place, about five minutes away. How about the Arabiata? Is that spicy? I don't like heat. Slightly spicy, but quite mild, really. What's mild to you might not be mild to me, young lady. Why ask for my recommendations then? I mutter under my breath. What? I grit simper. An important skill to master the grit simper. I bend down slightly, hands on knees, supplicant. Tell me what you like. I like risotto. Maybe you could just choose the risotto then. Am I overthinking this? But it's seafood, he grimaces. Which seafood is it? It's in Tupperware with seafood marker penned on it and looks like stuff you get as bait in angling shops. 